Utah's youth and native leaders met at Capitol Hill today in a call to action for the Great Salt Lake. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson tells us why they want their voices heard ahead of policy making decisions for the lake. On the steps of Capitol Hill Saturday afternoon stood Utah's youth. Without immediate action, total and possibly irreversible ecosystem collapse is knocking at the door. And Utah's native people. What if the tribes have been invited and given a seat at the table? Sharing their voices in support of a woman they say deserves to be heard, the Great Salt Lake. We need to start treating the lake as if she has rights and the plants and animals and water, the air we breathe, everything has a spirit and everything's connected. Former chairman of the Northwestern Band of the Shoshone Nation, Darren Perry, says looking at the lake through the native lens could help save the Great Salt Lake. Native Americans have always looked at how we can make decisions that will benefit future generations and not just short term. And so those are kind of the value systems that we need to start looking at today. How can we uh, govern for the future generations? Because we need to. Those future generations include Liam Mountain LaMalfa, founder of the Youth Coalition for Great Salt Lake. Maintaining the lake, not just maintaining, but returning it to a healthy level is necessary for us to be able to continue to live in our home. The groups met in talking circles, discussing how they can work together to protect the lake ahead of the legislative session. Our next step is to bring some of the things that we heard here to legislatures. We know that they will listen, that they care about this lake um, as representatives for our state. And so, yeah, we're excited to bring some of these stories and voices and threads to them uh, during the legislative session. Perry says he hopes their voices are loud enough for action to be taken sooner rather than later. We need to make sure our farmers have a way to, uh, and an incentive to save, which now they don't. And so there's a lot of things that we can do policy wise. And I, I think we're making baby steps, but I think this problem requires leaps and bounds. And, but I have high hope. I, I think we'll get there. I just hope we don't get there too late. In Salt Lake City, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.